While the rest of the world has been quick to take up the smartphone, Africa is one place that has been very slow to develop. However, this is bound to change. The main factor which contributes to Africa being at the bottom end of the smartphone adoption is their GDP per capita. With many African countries having the GDP below $1,000, this compares to the world average of $12,000 and here in Australia we enjoy a GDP of $67,000. This therefore reduces the disposable income available for consumers to spend on items such as smartphone. Africa has seen predominantly prepaid phone environment, which has either basic or feature phone users. Now, the rest of the world sees one in four people owning a smartphone. However, Africa only has a user rate of 12%. This is the lowest market, market penetration rate in all of the world's. As you can see from this graph on your screen, the smartphone connections over the next six years are going to increase by over 250 million while total connections will also continue to increase. This shows that there is a great opportunity for businesses to snap up their mobile market. This makes the first phone consumer a very important one to secure. Nokia have seen a huge market dominance in Africa. As in other markets around the world, they are seeing huge losses with not being able to keep up with the technology of the market leaders. Nokia's best sellers in Africa are feature phones. They have colour screens, expandable memory, and are now some with cameras and Bluetooth. These are all priced under $30. Africa did not experience the personal computer domination in the recent years due to the high price and low connectivity. However, these African nations are quickly becoming mobile first. In 2012, the top selling handsets were both feature phones. They were from Nokia and Samsung. Now, they were only 2G devices which had GPRS and EDGE data connectivity. However, this is changing with other companies entering the African market to steal some of their sales. They come from BlackBerry and Chinese companies ZTE and Huawei, who are all entering smartphones with a starting price of under $100. As price continues to drop, there will be a shift from their feature phones to smartphones, which is already occurring. But now, in 2014, Samsung are the market leaders of all smartphones in Africa and hold around 52.1% of the market, and the next is 17.8% by BlackBerry. Africa also has a huge emerging middle class, which is driving the demand for smartphones. Now at 35%, this middle class is increasing annually. It is with this target market that businesses are aiming their phones at. But what does all this mean for mobile marketing? Well, as the mobile for many Africans is the only connection they have to the internet, it will be a critical connection point for businesses and consumers. This will mean that businesses will have to be very conscientious about making sure that they are on top of their mobile marketing strategies and having the best placed ads and websites to ensure that they are getting the best brand exposure with potential and existing customers. Now, you'll notice a lack of talk about Apple and their amazing iPhone, which usually dominates the smartphone conversations. However, Apple have failed to develop a phone that is at a price which is accessible to many Africans, as the average uh, iPhone goes for around $700. Therefore, they only sit with a 1% market share in all of Africa. So a few of the examples of uh, some apps that have been made just for Africa. So first was the recently launched Uber app which is essentially taxis for those who want to travel in a little bit more style. You simply log into your app, tap for an Uber cab, and then you'll get a notification when it's out the front. It was launched in Johannesburg in August 2013, which is targeting that emerging middle class that I discussed earlier. A more recent example of an African-specific app is the launch only last week of My Orange app in Kenya. This allows users of Orange to have a full account control through their smartphone. Orange have also provided this at zero data usage as they will be paying for the data so they can access it for free. However, this app is only available to Android users. In summary, it is critical for all businesses who wish to have or continue to have success in the African market to get on the mobile bandwagon. They need to have all their business information accessible for smartphone users. Market research will also be a valuable tool to help determine how the African consumer differs to those in other markets. 
This will help you determine what they want, how they want it, and how much are they willing to pay for it. Thank you.